are in the car and we are going to where are we going gals? Costco. 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 So I am really pregnant. I think in a couple of days I will be 39 weeks pregnant and I'm really sore <laughs> but I must be nesting because like I mentioned in another video me nesting equals stocking up on food and I just really really wanted to get to Costco before the baby's born so much so even though like yesterday I was actually feeling really sick and I was had a upset stomach and I was also having like contractions on and off for most of the day yesterday and like cramping in, and um, back cramping but it kind of went away again and I'm like oh we will go anyway well the reason why it's such a big deal is because Costco is a bit of a drive away for us it's actually about um, I don't know just over an hour's drive to get there from our house um, but you know we had today free and we're like, it's a race against the clock this morning because we're like, well, we'll drop the children at school and then we'll go straight into the city and then we have to get all our shopping done and then get back before school finishes. So I think that we can do it. Yes, and there's Luke. I'm here. Luke's driving. I'm the chauffeur. This is my chauffeur. For all of the driving. Can I hear? Okay, and we've got Willow. And, Holly. and oh, we can just see Holly's head poking boat. over the I chair. Got my boat. You broke your boat. Oh, you can do it again. Take me to Costco. Ah. We've been there before, but we still can't find we it without the GPS. GPS. I need the GPS just to drive out there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Luke needs a GPS to drive anyway, even around the town. I used to get lost in my hometown driving no. back to my house. Yeah, Yes. So that's pretty funny. We're just coming to um, the city now. Oh and it's only 9.30 in the morning. So we're going to film today and bring you along. Oh, did you? I oh. see. Oh, there's a cat. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to go in the big trolley in Costco? Yeah. It's yeah. like this high. Really high one. Like this high. Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Cockroach in this bag. Hey! Was that to eat for later? No. Oh. Hey, get out. It's the food of the okay. future. There it hmm. goes. Holly, are you excited about going to Costco? Yeah. See that big gigantic shed? That's Costco. Mm -hmm. So we've unloaded, we've got the kids out. First time ever taking the little girlies to Costco. They're pretty excited. Can you carry this bag, please? Yes. Are you not a girly? I'm not a girly. Oh, you're not a girly. I'm not. Oh, stick your foot in. There you go. Look how high this is. It's very big, isn't it? This is the first time you went to Costco, isn't it? Over there, guys, there's a restaurant. Plants and stuff, Holly and Willow. Hey, look at that. It's like a garden. There's you and your cat. And you and your peacherine. Here's our expanding trolley. Vegetable oil salt, so I'm not going to get this. Uh, but this really big almond butter, it's just 100% roasted almonds. So I'm gonna try their almond butter. That's healthier. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay, the girls are walking now. All right, won't worry about cutlery. You're pushing it, are you, Willow? Can you see that, Ali? That they're gonna cook. Wow! What do you think of that? I'm just showing Willow the pig. Pigs are her like favorite animal.
You gonna get a hot dog, Willow? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know what it is? <laughs> it's a hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> Haven't you had a hot dog before? Look. It's a surprise, isn't it? Because it's, it. it's all wrapped up. Yeah, it's all ninety-nine. And what did you get? Uh, a rock cake. No, it's a cheeseburger. <laughs> Okay, we have to go Where get go? some sauce and we're going to go somewhere else to eat it. Hello, we have finished our Costco shop and we are having lunch now. We decided not to eat at the Costco um, tables because it was really crowded and we came to this small and it's actually um, really nice here. There's a, a playground and there's also food that I can eat so we came here to eat and it's like it's not crowded at all see it's like hardly anyone here no one's on the plane you're having a hot dog daddy's having a cheeseburger Ollie's having a hot dog you're almost finished Shaws you took you took your dog out of its out of its bum and I'm having brown rice sushi rolls and a lime sparkling water and you eat your hot dog and then you can go on the playground Willow and Holly and there's all our food home from Costco and my helpers <laughs> brought all the stuff in and put it on the table and I would love to show you what we got how much it cost and I'm gonna start with the cold things because it's been sitting out um, just in cool bags for like an hour and 15 minutes while we drove home so I'm going to show you the cold things first, then put them away, and then I'll show you the rest of the stuff. So here comes more stuff. Okay, so starting off of the cold things, we got a big frozen organic sweet corn. 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 We got a sharp cheddar block of cheese. Cheese. Um, Luke wanted this as a treat, this Greek yogurt boysenberry flavor. And this was my treat. I'm really excited about trying this 12 pack of gelati. That looks yummy. And it's gluten free and dairy free because I don't eat dairy. We also got a really big Jana natural yogurt that is pot set. And that's three and a half kilos. Popcorn? No, that's oats. Ice cream. That's ice cream bowl. We got a big bag of organic green peas that are frozen. And we really liked this last time, so we got it again. Some turkey bacon. I got two, what are they, 2.1 kilogram packs of um, chicken thighs. And they were $9.98 a kilogram. So I got like four kilos of these because that's for some bulk cooking recipes that I've got coming up that I'm going to put away in the freezer for after the baby's born. Got some smoked salmon, which is for me to make a salad tonight because everyone else got one of those big pizzas and I can't eat that. So I'm going to have smoked salmon salad. And that is all the cold stuff minus a big pizza that's in the fridge. I'm gonna put this away now and then show you the rest of the stuff. The cold things are away in the freezer and the fridge now. So I'll show you the rest of the things we got. We got these as a treat for our children. When they get home from school, they're gonna be super excited that about this massive 24 pack of hot cross buns. I think it was $9.90. They're going to be so excited. So I'll start from here. I've got a big almond butter, a three kilogram pure honey bucket. And we use honey a lot for sweetening and we also use maple syrup. These maple syrup are a really good value. So I got two of the big one litre 
<clears throat> bottles and this is pure maple syrup so it's got no added sugar or anything to it two of those because we eat a lot of maple syrup we use it to sweeten our the kids put it on their yogurt I put it in the um, in their muesli and we use honey in the granola that I make and my son loves to put honey on his muesli to sweeten it um, I got these two little bags of oat flour. They were actually from the health food shop. They weren't from Costco. Because I use that for baking mixed with almond flour for my gluten-free baking. Now we've been eating so much oats and I really love this Red Tractor Foods brand of oats. They're really soft and really delicious. So I got two so they can last us a long, long time because um, I'm stocking up <laughs> um, and as soon as the weather is still really hot here but when the weather cools down um, it'll be awesome in like four days and when the weather finally cools down I can make lots of porridge and we've been I use oats in biscuits in smoothies in cooking in our muesli in our granola so we eat lots of oats so okay we love these little tomatoes so the kids got more of those um, you won't see much vegetables or fruit in this haul because we actually went to the fruit and veg shop, the local ones, down the road yesterday and did a big fruit and veg haul, which I didn't film what I got, but we did that yesterday. Um, we got lots of plastic bowls and plates because we have a lot of dishes and we don't have a dishwasher here. And we're just trying to reduce those dishes a bit on those busy nights or mornings. Luke really wanted this tartare sauce to put on his salad. I've got a big almond flour. And this Kirkland brand was much cheaper than the other brand. And I didn't see it last time, so I was excited to see that. And I use that in all my gluten-free baking mixed with oat flour or buckwheat flour. Got a big tub of Brussels sprouts. Just a couple of cucumbers. Some sweet corn. And I've got a big bag of pecan nuts. I really love these for baking and I also chop them up and we put them in our muesli. Same with these dried apricots. They are sulfur free. And we have them in our muesli and in biscuits. And there's a big two kilogram bag of chocolate chips. I'm going to put them in some cookies for the kids' lunch boxes. And we got, again, this huge toilet paper. This lasts us months. This big toilet paper, we were down to our last two rolls from the last haul. And I'm pretty sure our last haul was back in November. Just maybe, maybe even earlier than that. I don't even remember, but we're still going. Yeah, so I got another one of those. I got a big cinnamon, because we use a lot of cinnamon in my cooking and these um, organic, I'll try and say it right this time, Napolitana sauce. They're really, really nice, really tasty. So we got some of those and I'll just mix them with pasta for a quick tea. And I was almost finished my other big coconut oil I got last time. So we got another really big coconut oil, which I use for Lots of my cooking because I don't eat any dairy, so I eat lots of coconut oil in my cooking. And I've got lots of recipe, more recipes planned to put away in the freezer for after baby's born. And I needed some diced tomatoes, so we got a whole pack of these diced tomatoes. Also got a whole pack of tunas, and the um, two of our kids love these in their lunch boxes. Sorry if it sounds a bit windy, I've got the air conditioning on. Because it is hot here guys, it's really hot. For a bit of a treat, a big bag of rolls that we'll use for school lunches. It looks a bit sweaty, it must have got a bit hot in the car. But it'll be fine now, he's sitting under the air conditioner. <laughs> so that is everything except for the things that were here before that I've put away. Oh yes, the total. So, I was looking for the receipt and I can't find the receipt. I don't know. Oh, did you find the receipt? Yes, it was just under 
$500 for this whole haul. I think it was $590. There is so much stuff and some of this stuff, it'll last us months and months and months. So it's like a real kind of just stocking up the pantry sort of haul. This stuff will, um, you know, some things like the veggies back there, they will just be gone by the end of this week. But the other things, you know, like the toilet paper and the oats, and they'll be still be around in a few months' time. So this is a big stock up sort of me nesting haul. And I'm really glad I got to go. So thank you heaps for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Hello if you're um, a new subscriber. I'm really happy that you are here um, on our channel and I hope you enjoy our videos and I hope you go back and watch some of our past videos. And thank you for watching. Bye.